I'm so proud of the show. Let me just say that uh, because, you know, you talk about we never proselytized. It wasn't a preachy thing, but we were sending a message. We were sending a message, you know. Um, and it was real important. You know, I hear it a lot. You won't believe it. This is something I hear, and this is kind of, I'm not patting myself on the back, but I mean, you, you got me doing this, but I'll, I'll be out in the street sometimes, and people say to me, it just happened to me last night. I, you know, I watched, I wanted you to be my father. And so I, I felt this tremendous responsibility to be, and, and sometimes I think I'm, I'm a better father on TV than I am in real life, you know, uh, but uh, because at 22 minutes, it's all solved. But, um, but I, I just think, you know, I really, we really played to that. We did a lot of that. We did a lot of that with Danny as well. Um, you know, kid guidance, you know, stuff we talked about. I mean, first car, first bra, the Danny playing the accordion and feeling like getting bullied. I mean, so that we were all on top of a lot of this stuff. Uh, I just, you know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, but there was a marathon recently, and uh, so I watched 19 episodes in a row. <laughs> And I was really, two things, two things really came to mind. One, that I was really proud of it. And two, that would that we emphasize these kind of lessons. You know, I, 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 I find it uh, sort of befuddling, to the, to the bewildering, that we don't understand what's happening here. We have, we, we, we make our, our kids are watching violence and, I mean, video games and movies and, 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 and even TV shows, uh, and then they act out and we're shocked. Now, wait a minute, you know, there's culpability here. You know, with great, ref, uh, great influence comes great responsibility, and we don't, we don't accept that. You know, we, uh, we're shocked that, uh, that kids are doing something horrible or or wearing clothes we don't like, or, or scaring us, or whatever. But that's what they see. This is what they're told. And, you know, I remember, I, I, when I think I was about 12, 13 maybe, and there was a kid that I really looked up to, Johnny Papalata. And I just thought he was, you know, he was like 16, and he was this guy. And one day I heard him say, hey, yeah, it had to be true. I saw it on TV. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, my father doesn't. My father says, "Don't believe anything you see." You know, so, so I don't know. Um, but it has a tremendous influence, and we, you know, I think that's one of the things you know uh, that I really worry about right now is that how hard it is to be a kid. It's so much harder to be a kid than it was when I was a kid. Forget about the poverty. Forget about and you know, one in four kids is hungry in America, but you don't have to worry about it because we got a euphemism for that called they just live in food insecure homes. Insecure. Um, I feel so much better. Um, it's so much harder for a kid. And one of the things that makes it harder is this deluge, this, this barrage of images that they see every day that they have to go through. And then amplified by social media, which is not in the nurturing business either, we got nurtured. I remember that show I did. Now it's time for all good children to go to sleep. And we would. <laughs> so I, that's one of the things I worry. And I think, who's the boss? I'm, I'm glad it's on. I'm glad it's on. I, the kids are seeing it now, and my little guys and my, my grandsons are watching it, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but it's, it's thrilling. It's really thrilling. And again, I'm proud of it.